Israeli air and artillery strikes pounding southern Lebanon today, targeting Hezbollah as the leader of the Iran-backed militia appeared from a secret location, vowing revenge for two days of unprecedented attacks. 5,000 pages and walkie-talkies were booby-trapped by Israel, he said, calling it a massacre in minutes. The number killed rising today to 37, according to Lebanese health officials, and thousands more wounded. Israel has not said it was them. Airlines today banning pages and walkie-talkies from flights out of Beirut. And images like this. Children close to an explosion in a grocer's emerging amid accusations of international law violations. Among those killed, nine-year-old Fatima Abdullah. We have 12 operating rooms and all our teams are exhausted. Dr. Salah Zaladin at the Beirut Medical Center has been treating a heavy stream of those injured by the explosions. Most of the patients are very sick, uh, injuries to the eyes, to the hands. The synchronized assassination was clearly long in the planning, masterminded by Israel, two U.S. officials tell NBC News. A clandestine trail of companies from Hungary to Taiwan to Japan denying involvement. But one former senior Israeli official tonight now says the timing was not part of a wider escalation, saying the chance to detonate the devices was slipping away a use-it-or-lose-it situation. Tonight, Iran promising a crushing response and the U.S. Secretary of State in Paris trying to de-escalate the conflict. The population in both northern Israel and southern Lebanon has had to flee their homes, and we all want to see them be able to go back to their homes, and that requires a secure environment. And tonight, Israel says it has arrested an Iranian agent aiming to kill its senior leadership. The potential for an all-out war still feels very real here. Lester? All right, Keir Simmons in Beirut, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.